heavens up there, they say. Pearly clouds, pearly gates, they say. They don't know much about astronomy, I say. And because of her findings, all the things we take for granted now, like galaxies and stars exist, along with the other woman that you're about to meet. It's all of their insights, hard work and diligence on the side that nobody knew about because they had to work very hard when people weren't looking to make their discoveries. Silent Sky, it's, it's one of these wonderful uh, untold stories. History has so many of them. And uh, the story of Henrietta Leavitt being one of the women computers at the Harvard Observatory up in an attic office crunching numbers for the male astronomers and then discovering this remarkable sequence that kind of figures out how to measure the universe. No small discovery. And in fact, that's a discovery that blew the lid off of astronomy. However, she was working for men, and the men kind of absorbed that information and took credit for it. You might find her story in a footnote or in the sidebar of a, of a textbook, but that's just about it. When she, in fact, the Hubble telescope would never have happened if it weren't for her discoveries. All of these women, Wilhelmina Fleming, Annie Jump Cannon, Henrietta Leavitt, those should be names we hear just as easily as Einstein, Newton, Galileo. I, I hope the, the audience is inspired by the story, but then also just reminded that 50 years ago, 100 years ago, today, we're still doing the same struggles. So it's, it's as alive today as it was then. It's not just about the astronomy, it's about the struggle to find your passion. And truly, so many groups, whether it's women or a particular country, trying to get equal rights mm. and a voice and just be allowed to use all their gifts and to be celebrated for using their gifts as opposed to being sort of swept under the carpet mm. as not being enough or equal. So sadly, it is still so relevant. Mm -hmm. I think this is definitely an all ages play. The story is pretty st straightforward. You know, you can be a complete novice for science, and, and, and get what's, what they're talking about. It's about the, the characters and their story and their relations. Uh, there's a lot of humor to it. It's like a, a space travel theme park ride at times too. So, I mean, if you're 10 years old, something like this might actually blow the lid off your curiosity, either about astronomy or about the theater, because theater is a very magical place and we're gonna, we're gonna give you some magic. You will fall in love with these women yes. as much as we have. Yes. Absolutely. So we hope you'll join us soon. You've got many performances to come to, 150 of you at a time with Bring All Your Best Friends. We can't wait to see you.